There is a cry for a prevailing generation. The Lord demand the rise of a generation that can prevail. Men and women that are willing to give up their life for the sake of the gospel. There's a great demand and a great necessity out of the volume a little bit. There's a great demand and a great necessity for a new breed of believers to rise upon the face of the earth. We have seen all kinds of deprivation when it comes to the inability of believers to be able to harness the operations of God. And the reason why this is possible was simply because many believers can no longer prevail. I don't know about you, but I've seen a lot of believers backsliding the body of Christ. The simple reason why they backslid that is because many of them could not prevail. Their inability to be able to prevail over dying times and hard times is what made them to fall along the wayside. You must understand that the devil will not just sit and clap for you as you begin to advance in Christian dog. No. The strength of darkness will be channeled towards your direction to ensure that you do not prevail. A generation must rise that sustain the fortitude to be able to harness the strength of God. And mount up beyond the limitations of darkness. That kind of generation have to be a man and a people have the strength of the immortals within them. Bible, 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 Bible. Gabai boy da bara do lada baba kwana bashka brata baba na do le kaba kaskatia. Raba bela, raba bela, raba bela, raba bela. Akai baba na na kaba skaba brata baba le de kaba kaskaba brata baba na duas kata. Raba bela kwam beta na kwata bara do le kaba kwaska baba dia. Aile kubai babela nae kwa paska brata babu ala na kabas kaba Whether the devil like it or not We will reveal the Lord in our day and time Bai ba kwa petula me kwa ska bata la tabanda ria la kabas ka Mai beto koba katena Bai ba ba bai ba bona da ba kwa ska bela tala ba kwa ska Bambe to bai Baraba bes ko batenda i kabando bele teske beta Bamba to bako to bele kete bas ko bari ala kaska Ay babo betene ke bete koske Raba ba alayna akaba tua Baba i kwa bele tene ke bas kata A raba tatan bes ke bele teke bele tene O bete i kwa bombe li atana bas kabai Ekobu a rua batana kabas kabrata babana toa bebe na ikabaru ala bebe na bes kabela tena ska abata mande be kwa taima babo be toa baba e toa bebe raba beta baba lai kwa beta la baba ska ba inde be kwa boy ma kwa bela tena kabes a raba tana kabata baba na bas kabala ta. Bene kubas katala benata. Haha. Emine kubala tena ikaba. Baiba mana kubele de bekamba talu nalada kabas kabrana babwa. Babayna kabala teske. Abatai, 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 abatai. Ukubatane kubirutus. Maiba bona itabala tena bas kabala dane. Prevail, 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 prevail. Spirit, prevail. Prevail, 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 prevail. Spirit, prevail. Prevail. Breathe, 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 breathe
Spirit, we be, 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 Spirit, we be, 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 Natalia. The devil does not understand your language. He only know your advantage in the spirit, my friends. Do you know how to engage God in a situation? Do you know how to appear in Zion? If you are a stranger in Zion, you will die anyhow. Your advantage lies in the spirit. Men that know how to cry cannot die. <laughs> when a child is born and he cannot cry, he's a dead child. When a man cannot cry unto the Lord, he's dead. One of the ways we cry is through prayer. We cry up our father. The Bible says, as soon as Zion travel, as soon as Zion travel, it shall prevail. Man that prevails is a man that cry. When I cry before the Lord, I can never cry before a man. But when you cannot cry before the Lord, men will bastardize your life. I don't know about you, but a very long time I knew that I need to have an advantage against the serpentine spirit of darkness. I need to have an advantage beyond the dragons of this time. I need to have an advantage beyond the beast that take away the souls of men. I knew my mortality was a challenge. Is your voice register in the spirit? When you cry, will the Lord come? When you pray in your room, do you have encounters? Does Jesus appear to you? Your life is normal. Do you know the gateways of the spirit? Can you understand the movement of the times? If you can't, you are a stranger in the kingdom. The Bible strangers we always wonder. Only sons know the way to the city. Are you a son of God? Are you still a stranger? We have a lot of strangers in the body of Christ. I know what to do for God to come. I know. I know. Do you know? Does God know you? <laughs> it's not the microphone. God does not respond to the microphone. No. If you pray without the microphone, if God does not come, even if we give you microphone, God will not come. 
if you preach without the microphone the power of god does not come the microphone cannot be an advantage the suit is a waste of time we need men that can prevail in the gateways of the spirit men that can prevail say like a prince you have power with god and like a prince you have prevailed we need men and women that will rise and have power with god and can prevail men that no onslaught of darkness can keep them low there are not too many of them in town this microphone i don't know what is wrong with it the sound is too bad you can change the battery to be good the lord needs to help us if you can boost me the sound i'll be glad i don't need to shout there is a cry for a prevailing generation there is not prevailing without traveling Prevailing is a pathway of victory. Traveling is a process. When a man begins to travel, it's to the end that he can prevail. It's natural for a man to travel. It's supernatural for a man to prevail. <laughs> Anytime you say a man that prevails, it's because there was a supernatural strength supply. When a woman is admitted into the labor room, she begins to travel. When the child is delivered, she has prevailed. The betting of the destiny of a man is in what? Traveling or toward prevailing. Many are in their season of traveling. But what the devil intends to do is to abort the destiny before it prevails. And that is why the Lord is crying for a generation of an army that will rise, that will always prevail. They will never be weary of the traveling, so that at the end they will prevail over time. The devil wants to blind your eye from the reality of the glory within. That you may not be able to endure the process of traveling. The Bible says, as soon as Zion travel. Say, can a nation be born in a day? It's a question. The answer is yes. The answer is no. The answer depends upon the heart posture of a man that is willing to travel, that he may prevail. The nation can be born by the prevailing of traveling men. Are you part of the traveling men? The Lord requires weeping women, weeping men. Men and women that will never be satisfied. Anytime you see God walk in a region, it's because there are men and women that are traveling. It's the body of an intercessor. It's the body of a revivalist. Every gatekeeper, every intercessor is a traveler. Any man that has ever prevailed in anything must have been able to harness and endure a process. Many of us have given up simply because of the chaos and the pain that comes. You must understand that in this process, part of the required tool for your building is pain. The way army are trained, the way soldiers are trained, it's the way of traveling and endurance. Many can be admitted into the camp, not everybody will go out. Them that overcome. When you read the book of Revelation, you see all kinds of reward. It's for overcomers. It's for them that prevail. To them that overcome, I will give them the right to eat of the tree of life. To them that overcome, I will give them the right to, to receive the crown of life. To them that overcome, I will give them the morning star. See, I know your pain. I know your souls. I know how much you have endured. But don't you sit upon the heating. You must understand that the Lord is watching your traveling. But it is the intention that you prevail according to his power at working in your life. 
There are diverse channels of overcoming. The Bible says we overcome the devil. By the blood of the Lamb. That one, you don't have to do anything about it. By the sacrificial working of Jesus Christ upon the cross, he gave you the privilege to be able to overcome the devil. By the supply of the blood of the Lamb, you can claim it and overcome. That is good. But that will not take you too long. Because the Bible speaks about how there are others that will have to overcome by what I call the word of their testimonies. You can only be able to understand that when you go to the book of Hebrews chapter 11. How that there were a set of people that gained things by faith and there are others that no matter how their faith was, they could never get certain things. They died believing. But they believed in prevailing. And God become their debtor. Those ones were the ones that God had to appear to their children. And say, I have made the covenant with your father. Although he died believing in faith, you must fulfill that which I have spoken unto him. There are men and women that what God has promised them will never end when they die. It will be transferred to another generation. Those are prevailing men. Intercessors transfer the mandate of God unto another generation. A genuine intercessor, the more he died, the more many rise. The Bible said the blood of the martyr is the seed for the advancement of the gospel. You must understand that upon the strength of your prevailing, God will establish the life of man. Anytime you see men established in the region, it's because a man has prevailed. It is the intention of the devil to abort the destiny and the life of man. But God weep and cry for a yielded generation that can prevail. We are crying. We are upon the quest for a generation that can yield and can prevail. That by their faith and through their faith, they can endure the workings of time and be able to reveal the arm of God that when men say where is God prevailing men can rise we are tired of babes in the body of Christ I don't know about you but I'm tired of babes every day everyone confused every day they send you text but they tell you how much challenge they are how much they are challenged as believers they have not know how to find the pathways of the spirit like the eagles to learn how to navigate the storms one of the greatest advantages of the eagle is his ability to navigate hard times and hard weathers hard weather can fall in plane hard weather can make plane not to fly hard weather can make it can make you not to even come out of your house but it's in those hard weather that eagles know how to take advantage and so on you must begin to understand that apart from your normal structure in Christ, you must understand how to navigate times and seasons. Seasons are going to come when it's demanded for you to backslide. Seasons will come when it's demanded for you to fall as a believer. At that time, what you need is to prevail. Like a prince, it's not natural among common men, but princes can prevail. princes are known to be sons of God there is no king in time past that has ever become a king by natural means you must be connected to a seat royal the seat royal of royalty is a divine seat they believe you are not sons of men your mother might have given birth to you but somehow you are a son of God they believe they were born from eternity to time as not ordinary men As a result of that, they don't believe other things happen to them anyhow. They call themselves sons of God. Those ones, everybody may fall, but they remain. Do you know you are sons of God? Do you know it is the cry of God for you to prevail at every time? Do you know? It's a cry for a generation that can prevail. Not just babes that keep falling every day. Babes that have been in church for the past 15 years and have not advanced to anything. It's a challenge. 